That's what I aim to do, you know, you know, maybe the beginning of the show, people might be like, okay, okay, mid-show, like, all right, like, man, end of the show, one more song. <laughs> There's so, always a one more song. Right, you're right. So that's what my goal is, and I've been achieving that every night, and it's a beautiful thing. So, you know, as I spoke about that show, so it's like wonderful, man, to, you know, be starting out this tour over here in Poland and you know continuing on to m many different places but there's been a great reception here and it's beautiful and I'll be back again sometime next year. So I've got a whole lot of good momentum happening right now. My first record came out when I was 16 years old. So to have another record come out that has some success to it is, I think that's a milestone for me. And I just turned 40, October 29th. And my first record came out when I was 16. This is unbelievable. So I'm gonna keep playing until I can't play anymore. I don't tour enough. I want to play every day. I want to be in front of somebody new every day, every night. It must be exhausting. No, I love it. When I'm not doing anything, I'm bored out of my mind. So it's better for me to be doing what I like, and that's playing. Yeah, it's, it's and people seem to like it too. Yeah, yeah. We, we saw it today. Mm -hmm. People really love it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I sent it. You guys, you had a lot of fun on the stage. You, Christoph, and Daryl. Yes. It was like today for me, as far as the band and everything, this was one of the most interesting shows. This was one of the most interesting uh, passion-filled shows out of all of the guys. I mean, today they played for them. They played for me. And it was beautiful. It's great. I mean, we got like two more shows and uh, like it was a wonderful encounter with them guys and you know it's back to the states for me uh saturday and i start touring in the states uh we get home on the sixth the night of the sixth and we start we head out on the eighth all through december in the states so i just gotta like, stay out there and push it keep pushing this record keep pushing good for something and that's what i'm gonna do What about your inspiration? What inspires you? What fuels you to do what you're doing? Hearing people that drive me like I try to drive people. When I get that same drive from somebody, it's pure, pure adrenaline. That is like musical adrenaline for me. So I immediately get, mm, I gotta go play somewhere. I gotta, mm, it's like, ah. Uh, I, I'm about to explode, so I gotta let it out some kind of way. So that's what inspires me. Uh, different guitar players out there today, different musicians, different styles, different genres, any style of music out there that just moves me, then that's inspiration for me. <laughs>
think it is. I think it's escalated. As to me, I think all styles of music has escalated: gospel, country, jazz, funk, rap. Everything, every style is out there has you know went to the next level. Whether people wanted to keep keep it traditional or not, or you know want to roll with the way that it's sounding modernized and everything. It's their preference, but you know I'm a fan of the old and the new. So to keep that uh, circle still going and not being stagnant, I think it's great because everything changes at a certain point. Follow your passion, follow that drive, follow whatever that makes you wake up wanting to do what it is you want to do. Whatever that may be, follow that in life. And uh, I think you'll be happy always if you're doing what you want to do and loving it, not dreading it, but you're happy to go do it. Whatever it may be, I think you'll be okay.